Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Last time, when we left off, we had cleared out Operation Sector C and successfully reprogrammed the first of the sim units. We had just reached Operations D, where presumably the last override chip and the last two units are housed, so let's pick it up there. Straight ahead into system ops. Turning right, I can't help but notice a turret. So, straight ahead it is. Alright, I see a grenade hybrid up there. We'll take a left first. Two levels to this room. Still looking for a way to actually get upstairs, but then Something out of place. No! Come here, dude. <laughs> Alright. He dropped a pack of cigarettes. On the ground in here we find an auto repair unit. And a corpse with nothing. I hear plenty of noise, which is always unnerving. Let's explore the rest of this ring before we head down this hallway. There's a ladder to the upper level. Let's clear the ground level first. And another hybrid there. He dropped nothing. cigarettes. Alright, let's head up the ladder now. Well, first let's kill this monkey. There we go. Now up the ladder. Get him to dismount at the top of the ladder like a functional person. We'll all be much better off. There we go. Alright. Let's go the opposite direction. Let's head over here first. I see an egg there. A swarm egg. Looks like the swarm didn't spot me and flew to the corner instead, which is great. Let's sit here and watch and wait for it to die. Searching the egg. Find nothing, so I'll destroy it and take the swarm pod organ. On this corpse, I find three cyber modules and a broken stasis field generator. This we have not seen before. Let's take a moment and check it out. <clears throat> uh, normal, temporary immobilizes target creature. Area, immobilizes creatures in an area around impact, but uses twice the ammo. Let's get a helper on it. The stasis field generator requires a strength of three and a heavy weapon skill of three. The first modification increases the speed of the shot by 50%, while the second modification reduces ammo consumption. An experimental device originally developed as an effective non-narcotic method to both tranquilize and immobilize patients undergoing major medical procedures. However, the military and security utility quickly became apparent to the Trioptimum Executive Corps. The generator can essentially freeze a target in place for a variable period of time. However, the stasis field uses a lot of power and its effect greatly decreases with distance. That's interesting.
shipping. I'm up to 54 modules, so I can afford the tier 3 neural capacity now, which is good. Something I'll probably do as soon as I can. But let's check the other side of this upstairs area first. Deal with this grenade hybrid. Take his med hypo. Gratefully accepted. We will need Is it. Is there another? In the words of Bane. Your flash room. Alright. Come to. The Drop in behind that guy. Grenade guys are actually my favorite. They seem to be the easiest to deal with. Power admin. We have an audio log. Malik, July 7th, 2114, regarding Sim Unit 3. Bronson knows. Won't let her undo the work we've done. Wired up a surprise for her. Anybody approaching Sim Unit 3 will feel sorrow. So much sorrow. Oh damn, a turret. <clears throat> well, let's rush it. If we can, we might not be able to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Find an alternate approach. Which, looking at the map, I think is possible. Yeah, if the turret's back there, then I can get to it through there, which is perfect. Well, let's check out this store. This main area looks pretty empty. Let's check out these side offices. This one seems empty. There's... there's that monkey. Got nothing, which is fine. In here we have version 2 repairing software and a small beaker, which we'll of course want to turn into worm clusters. That's the same sort of main back room we were already in, so let's see where this door goes. This desk has 15 nanites and an expert tech implant, which is something I haven't seen before. Oh, I've got a monkey after me, so... Let's kill him before we read up on the expert tech implant. The expert tech trademark implant boosts your hack, repair, and modify skills by plus one, burning up 1% of its charge every 10 seconds. Good grief. Fucking respawn, I swear. It's one thing to spawn them in, it's another entirely to not only spawn them, but give them advanced knowledge of exactly where I'm hiding. Alright. You guys see this? This is ridiculous. Five nanites, six slugs, and now suddenly I'm due to go empty my inventory. It's fine, I'd just like the chance to finish reading about this. Burning up 1% of its charge every 10 seconds. This bonus, however, does not apply to meeting minimum skill requirements. There we go. Let's head out here, which puts me right next to that turret. Let's just 
just sprint back through the bulkhead right quick. God, we do not welcome. And while we're here, let's do a couple of things. Drop all this junk. Run back down to Hydro right quick for two reasons. Pyrokinesis. It's like cryokinesis, except it does comparatively a boatload more damage. I want, where is it? Psionic Hypnogenesis, which is awesome because it basically allows me to bypass any non robotic enemy without having to kill it. Or, alternatively, I can incapacitate it. Oh, come on! <laughs> Pyrokinesis, psionic hypnogenesis, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. Alternatively, you can stun a creature with hypnogenesis, then, if you want to power up adrenaline overproduction, whack it over the head with the wrench, and watch it die. And finally, I'm going to get Electron Cascade, which allows me to recharge anything in my inventory psionically without having to use a, Is there a, a battery or a recharging station. I'm sure you can see how that would be useful. Anyway. We'll head back up to Ops now. Still looking forward to acquiring the Recycler. Where are you? Come on. I already knew I already knew I was in trouble as soon as I heard the second one. Monkey brain and nothing. Now I gotta get down there somehow. I'm not gonna be able to approach that, so we're just gonna have to destroy it with cryokinesis from down here. Ideally without burnout. Of course, I'm not sure if I even managed the overload that time.
wouldn't want to waste the shot on the hybrid. I do love making the turret kill the hybrid for me, though. That's awesome. right quick but psi hypo on the hybrid that is an amazing drop almost never happens that's so good all right now let's head back into power admin I think the hybrid who was my first problem is gone already so and in this back room, there's nothing to do but choose one of these ladders and climb down. This is Xerxes. At 0200, there will be a poetry reading by protocol unit T892-2 in the Deck 5 Commons area. Please bring any authorized material that you wish to be read by T892-2. Alright. Well, we've got a couple of eggs down here. <laughs> One swarm egg, as we've already seen. This is Xerxes. At 0200, there will be a poetry reading by protocol unit T892-2 in the Deck 5 Commons area. Please bring any authorized material that you wish to be read by T892-2. Alright, they were they were both swarm eggs. Oh, come on! It spits out a second one? Ridiculous. Well, there's nothing in there. It is going to spit out a second one if I get too close, so... Cryokinesis it is. Eat it, Biatch. Grab the swarm organ. What about this one? It also has nothing inside, so... Well. Grab that swarm organ. And since I'm down to zero psi, I can use a Psy Hypo. Takes me up to 24. What is my total Psy points now? 38. So, certainly not worth the use of a second Hypo yet. Let's creep forward through here. Well, there's Sim Unit 3. We already know that Malik told us something bad would happen. Interpolar simulation, that is the one we already have the chip for. Okay, let's take this terrible condition broken pistol. We'll take the six standard bullets and laser rapier off the corpse. Hack skill one required. That's fine. Looks like a terrible surprise is a big spider ambush. Indeed, I do feel sorrow, Malik. Mostly because of that horrible, horrible hissing noise they make. Run away! Run away! 
nothing, and nothing. Alright, let's search the little nooks they came out of. Nothing in there either. And let's reprogram the interpolated simulation unit. Fifteen cyber modules brings me up to sixteen. I can already afford a new power. That's awesome. Alright, let's head up out of here. Explore down the hallway where we destroyed that turret. And a monkey up here somewhere. <coughs> Not gonna make the effort to track it down. I hope that's upstairs, but I doubt I'm that lucky. Nope. Alright. Since we're here, I'm just gonna pop out right quick. Dump all my junk. easier. What do I want first? Let's get pyrokinesis. That's a good choice. Now we finally have a fairly high-powered offensive psi power. Pyro pyrokinesis is dramatically stronger than cryo. Which is good. We've been lacking for decent range damage for a long time. <coughs> there you had pyrokinesis demonstrated for you by the chimpanzee. We will slay him with extreme prejudice, naturally. Anyway, here's an audio log. Suarez, July 12th, 2114. Regarding... I knew it. Spawned in behind me. Somewhere in this tiny little hallway. I hate the respawn rate. I know I complain about it every video, but it is so far beyond keeping you on your toes. It's just annoying. Anyway, Suarez, July 12th, 2114, regarding Don't Stop. Don't stop, Rebecca. Keep moving. Get to the escape pods on the command deck. We'll take off, set the toaster to wake us up in 30 years, and we'll be back on Earth before you know. A toaster built for two, baby. That's our next stop. Sound good? So let's do it. I won't take any excuses. Alright, let me look at my map right quick. You are free. Oh, come on! <laughs> that corpse has three modules on it. Got another suite of upgrade units in here, which is awesome, I guess. But... And we got another <coughs> excuse me. And we got another turret down there. I don't think we're going to be able to rush that one either. So why don't we try out pyrokinesis? 
Now that we finally have it. My fault, my fault. You'll notice how much faster burnout happens on my power. It's a little harder to pull off, but come on. Still aiming too much. seems that way. Turrets are immune to pyro. Looks that way. Okay, cryo it is. Here I am, all excited about my new power. It's no good against turrets anyway. got nothing. This side room looks like a firing range. I don't know if I can fit through these windows. I can. Perfect. Back here we've got a box of 12 anti-personnel bullets. And that's our reward for exploring here, I guess. That's fine. That takes us to the brig. All right, look at all these lockers. Empty, 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 10 nanites, S speed booster, Nothing there, nothing at the back of the room. 
Let's check the other beds. Nothing. Nothing. <coughs> nothing. 15 nanites. Awesome. Nothing. Nothing. 20 nanites, a brawn boost implant, and nothing. Alright, let's keep going this way. I hear a camera. I think it's right around the corner. Oh yeah, power up the resurrection station for this sector. Well, that's probably the weapons lockup. Let's check this replicator first. We've got a box of six anti-personnel shotgun shells. There's one of those fucking spiders. I just know as soon as I start messing with the replicator, it's gonna come at me, so... It's a little bit weird to me that they use the exact same animation as thief spiders, but it's twice as fast. That seems to be the difference. Anyway, is this the one? We got there. cigarettes for ten Please nanites, bottle of juice for eight nanites, rifled slugs for a hundred six, six rifled slugs for a hundred sixty nanites, and a psi hypo for a hundred fifty nanites. If we hack it. Yes! Hi there. Replication Finally. of your selection. Reinitialized. We've got six anti-personnel bullets for 180 nanites. A recycler for 150 <laughs> nanites. Choosing value rack. Six rifled slugs for 120 nanites. And the real kicker, a psi hypo for 80 nanites. So first let's grab the recycler. Let's go ahead and question mark it. Originally designed as an adjunct to the replicator, the recycler contains a voracious colony of replication-enabled nanites, which will degrade just about any object into more nanites. Early incidents in which recyclers were used for disposal of bodies led to quick restrictions on what sort of items the recycler will accept. That's fine. Well, let's start recycling. Dropping the recycler on them recycles them, it seems like, so. Drop a drag to a junk object, convert it to nanites. Looks like all this time I can't recycle the old weapons anyway. But that's fine. You'll also notice that we had a uh, Psy hypos available for a ridiculously cheap 80 Please nanites. Make your so I'm going to buy up as many as I can. I have to leave myself a 200 nanite cushion for reasons that will become clear on the command Hi deck. There. Deck six. Please but make your selection. For now. Choosing value wrap. Since 80 nanites is by far the cheapest we will ever find them. We're up to 26. That's just much healthier. Alright. Let's take a little break and go back and recycle all the stuff we've been hoarding. The good news is, we'll never have to make one of these little trips again. Slugs. Okay, we can't recycle grub pod organs. I thought 
thought I could recycle everything. I guess that was wrong. Recycle, recycle. I can recycle liquor. I can recycle plant. I can recycle pool cube. That's all good news. Can't recycle the EMP rifle. I already know I can't recycle the shotgun. Let's keep going. Recycle the tool the liquor, the cigarettes, the maintenance tool. Grub pod organ, non recyclable. That's fine. Recycle, can't recycle, can't recycle, and I can't recycle the crystal shard either. So we'll just drop it. That's all fine and dandy. Battery and slugs. Can't recycle the pistol. Can't recycle the hybrid organ. I can't recycle this pistol, but. I can unload it and recycle the standard bullets, so we'll do that at least. <clears throat> ammo, ammo, ammo. Can't, can't. Pool cube. Ammo, can't. What about armor? No, you can't recycle armor. Pistol, no, I'm sure I can't recycle the stasis field generator. Can recycle the slugs. Can't recycle the swarm pod organ. And I can't recycle the spare wrench. Oh well. Okay. Chips, 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 chips. Rifle slugs, soda, ammo, expert tech implant. We can recycle. That's awesome. Alright, cigarettes, cigarettes, liquor, anti personnel shells, worm mind, maintenance tool. Can't recycle the laser rapier or the swarm pod organs. We can recycle the rifle slugs.
take their slugs. We know now we can't use their shotguns. I hear another guy coming. number of nanites from this. I'm nearly back up to a thousand just from recycling all the stuff I saved on the earlier decks. Alright, I can't recycle Toxin A. I bet I can't recycle a Psyamp either. That's all fine. Cycle a game pig either. Nearly done. Items dropped.
Perfect. All right. Let's can. Well, actually, let's hit the charging station before we go. Just to get my little bit of extra agility back. Now let's continue this party on deck one. Organized. software chips either. actually recycle the Fred Chapstein device. I can't imagine a use for it either, so I'll just leave it here. Alright. That's it for deck one. Is there a recharging unit down here? I thought there was, but I guess I'm wrong. Alright, last but not least, our good old starting point, Deck 2.
items dropped. game cartridges either. Anyway, there are the last two. So with all that, I made about an extra 1,200 nanites. Which... <clears throat> back at the awesomely cheap replicator, is going to translate into a bunch more sci hypos we will continue to vigorously hoard until the end game when we really don't have a choice but to start stop relying so heavily on our wrench but by god we're going to keep wrenching as long as we possibly can hi there please make a connection <laughs> 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 never dip below that so I'm up to 41 Psy Hypos. That's great. Alright, now what's this? I bet this is the weapons lockup from Bronson's log earlier, so let's check it out. 13433. I feel you men aren't as dedicated to the mission as you need to be. You will do your duty. The train and there's a there's an opt spot. still been unable to make a simulator. Whatever you want to call it anyway. One three four three three. Uh, we're gonna have to destroy it.
huge mistake. Come on. I just need him to start moving as soon as it blows, but it's not where that is it. Oh well. weapons lock up. An assault rifle in perfect condition, which we will unload so we can recycle those standard bullets. And we got five crates. Empty. Three EMP grenades. Empty. Empty. Three frag grenades. Recycle them all. Another turret! Wonderful. This one I bet I can rush with the wrench. What a caveat, I can't circle straight. Never mind. Try it down around here. Not actually. Turret itself has nothing. The corpse has nothing. I say we check the barracks first and then. Oh. I'm sorry. I guess first, first, we can deal with all these assholes. They first kill me! Oh, come on! From both sides? Really? Did you have to do that? Jack me from behind with a spider and another security bot from the front.
Come on. Search the barracks, please. Nothing. An audio log. Bronson, July 8th, 2114. Regarding martial law. As of this time, I am declaring a state of martial law on the Von Braun. All primary subsectors of the ship will be locked down and only accessible by security access cards. If anybody is found to be interfering with the normal operations of this ship or impedes the work of the security forces, they will be shot on the spot. Yikes. Anyway, 15 nanites. Empty locker. You can see the egg back there already. Empty. Empty. Egg is empty. Oh, and it just sprayed a toxin cluster, so. Destroy it. We'll pick up the three cyber modules. Brings me up to eight. The corpse is empty. This locker has 15 nanites. That one's empty. Other side of the room. Empty, 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 but the corpse is spewing grubs. I will, of course, destroy with extreme prejudice. Corpse is empty, too. 25 nanites. Nothing, nothing, and 20 nanites. I can afford another Psy Hypo. Hi there. Alright. Choosing to make your select value. Only one way left to go. So let's go there. Another turret! Who's surprised? Oh, and they decided to add a hybrid to the party, too. Couldn't just let me deal with the turret, could they? Never. Something out of recycled his slug. Let's try dealing with the turret again. Oh, I missed. Are you kidding me? I just finished clearing without getting ambushed from behind by another goddamn respawn. Oh, you changed up the side of the room where he's coming from. Anyway, let's recycle that too. And wouldn't you know it, I 
can't afford another Psy High. Hooray. This is the replicator of choice. Selection value wrap. Alright, let's head on into security. Alright, there's the Come on. There's the third red side. There's another damn spider. override access. All right, let's go down this ramp. Access needed. Security station and four doors. An incomplete surgical unit. Well, wouldn't you know, I just happen to have a key to turn that on. Not that I really want to use the five nanites. Well, we got plenty of worms here. Need to avoid standing directly on them or else we get poisoned. Right, let's pick up and immediately recycle that stuff. Perfect. Next door. Corpse has two cyber modules. Brings me up to ten. We've also got an audio log. Bronson, July 7th, 2114, regarding MedSci Armory Code. I've authorized a change in the access code for the auxiliary weapons lockup in the crew quarters of MedSci Deck to 98383. 98383. I won't have my own gear used we'll, against my men. We'll run down There's there no shortly. such thing as too cautious. Right. First, let's check this last door. Monkey. Dead monkey. And a side booster. Excellent. We'll hold on to that. Let's peek at the map. Alright, let's Check this hallway first. Another audio log. Delacroix, July 11th, 2114. Regarding the main elevator. If we can reprogram the sim units and divert power to the transmitter on deck 5, my new friend will be able to regain control of the primary data loop from Xerxes. She, I, it, says that will let us use the bridge elevator and take control of the ship. Well, we've got a medical kit there, and other than that, it looks like there's no progressing past this point. Well, let's follow the last cyborg. Let's bum rush that camera before we do anything else. Well, correction. Let's kill this monkey. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> now let's rush the camera. Alright. This elevator takes us to the brig. I don't want to, but don't really have a choice. So let's go down. I can search the corpse through the bars. Which is great, because I can't actually move through the bars. 
neither of those corpses has anything. Let's check out this cell. That corpse has an unresearched object. This implant seems to contain a mixture of human and annelid blood. Chemicals needed to research. CU. Which is what? Well, let's just see if it's on ops. Copper, yes. So we got locked in the cell, but you'll notice above us, there's a window and a junction box. Destroying the junction box, reopens the cell, and we have another spider to kill. Never get used to that goddamn music. Oh, really? Are you serious? Did you guys see that? That was unbelievable. Hello, I'm right here. Your flash. You can't even bring yourself to hide the spawn from me. I'm not staring right at the Alright, come here, asshole. because of the ridiculous mechanic that uh, stops my momentum and makes me have to re-equip my weapon every time I I don't want God damn it! Get him to back up. Which is usually a possibility. We do Alright, they took down the hybrid. Gives us another 10 modules, which takes my total up to 20. Monkey dropped a bag of chips. Did we actually get an email from Shodan? No. That's fine. I've got enough modules to purchase another power, but before I do, let's check back here. We find two lockers with 12 standard bullets and a maintenance tool. Recycle all that. Bottom locker has a laser pistol, which is useless, and six anti-personnel shotgun shells, which we will recycle. Now the desk has a Psy Hypo, 40 nanite. Good grief! get a break to celebrate victory. Anyway, the desk. I have a Psy Hypo and some nanites, and it's got an audio log. 
Diego, July 8th, 2114. Oh, come on. Regarding cease and desist. You listen to me, you little bitch. Either you disband that little toy army of yours or some real military is gonna come down there and walk all over your reticops. You can't possibly understand what our mission is here and the glory of our purpose. If you do what we say, you might have a Good chance to God! save I can't even listen to the audio log! Alright, let's listen to that again since we were interrupted. You listen to me, you little bitch. Either you disband that little toy army of yours or some real military is gonna come down there and walk all over your reticops. You can't possibly understand what our mission is here and the glory of our purpose. If you do what we say, you might have a chance to see the glory of America. Another fucking ply or die, sister. It's that simple. Corpse is empty. That corpse is empty. Here's an audio log. Bronson, July 10th, 2114. Regarding resist. Hypnogenesis. Uh, 
Oh, and it's also worth pointing out that in addition to the 10 modules we got for picking up the uh, linear simulation chip, reprogramming the last sim unit garnered us another 25. Anyway... OH COME ON! No! So I got Psionic in the Genesis. This is just killing me. On top of that, let's get Electron Cascade. That's all the third tier powers I want. So now it's 89 modules to get fourth tier, and I still need Psy 6, which is also 89 modules, so gotta save up 89 modules to afford our next upgrade, folks. There's one other thing I want to do before I head to deck 5 and end this video. Shoot. Well, two things, actually. First, we need to head to the Ops Chemical Storeroom to finish researching the zip plan. do that, and I'm sure I will be deeply frustrated by some respawn monsters along the way. The Let's acquire and recycle this. side of the door, ready to, ready to take a shot at me like that. I guess there's only watching. Hurry. Same thing, the fire slug into the chemical storeroom, let's grab one of those coppers, and let's finish researching this implant. While that's going, let's go ahead and head back to the elevator because the other thing I still need to do is head down to deck two and open up that armory we finally got the code for. Bitch, I will cut you. Wrench of justice. Guess not. Okay, let's wait for the door to close. Alright, let's see what this is. A worm blood implant. Summary. While this implant is active, you can right-click on a pile of worms to heal yourself. Analysis. This implant is a high-powered blood filtering and reprocessing unit which acts to modify blood-borne annelid tissue to be benign in a human host. Because of the highly regenerative nature of these annelids, their tissue, in conjunction with this implant, can be used as a replacement for damaged human tissue. A small insertion port in the implant can be used to import annelid tissue for this use. Recommendation. <coughs> While under the effect of this implant, discarded annelid tissue, such as that found in worm piles, can be used for a regenerative effect. Use of annelid tissue in such a fashion while the implant is not powered is strongly discouraged. Uh, we'll recycle that, and we're not going to use it. Now uh, let's head down to deck two. Alright, gotta make my way to the crew sector. Always careful of hybrids. Not careful enough, apparently. I'm sorry. Stand in there. As usual, we take it looks like a slug. There's a 
pipe hybrid. And, and a shotgun hybrid and another pipe hybrid. Quite the little party right there. We Same as Bronson said 98383, didn't she? Yes. Alright, in here. The corpse has three frag grenades, immediately recyclable. On the ground, two bottles of liquor, also immediately recyclable. An assault rifle, which we can unload for four recyclable standard bullets. A suit of standard issue combat armor. That's not really any good. In this crate, two portable batteries, both recyclable. In this crate, 12 anti-personnel bullets and two med kits. We'll recycle the bullets. Up here, an EMP rifle in excellent condition. A stasis field generator in shoddy condition with no ammo to unload. And finally, a desk. Empty. So there's that. I'm at 245 nanites, which is not enough to afford a hypo. So we will head to the main elevator. Killing the inevitable respawns in the front. and recycling their shotgun. I did forget to mention that last email from Shodan on deck four was Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding I am pleased. Anyway, new quick save, new permanent save here on Recreation A, and I will say this has been Let's Play System Shock 2. Thank you for watching. Next time we will venture forth into the Recreation deck and see what Shodan wants us to do here. Until then. Bye-bye.